Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Blair Lamb. I make videos about all the different parts of my life and today we are doing a fan favorite <laughs> which is a packing video for Disneyland. As you can hear I have a four-year-old daughter and a two-year-old son and I'm thinking as I was just getting this tripod set up I'm thinking one of them is responsible for this knife with peanut butter on it that I literally just found as I was setting up this tripod. Like no one knows how long this has been here, what was the situation, I will be on the lookout for peanut butter. If you're a toddler parent, you already know. So welcome to my channel. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. So happy to have you back. I invite you to subscribe if you are new because I have a whole bunch of Disneyland content coming out here in the next few weeks from vlogs, videos, recaps, everything. So, so excited to share it with you all. So here's the deal. We leave for Disneyland tomorrow and I need to finish packing. So I have started working on packing for my two kids and I have started to sort of think through packing for myself and then my husband will pack on his own. So I just really need to mainly pack for myself. Um, the kids are pretty much virtually done. I think I need to throw in some shoes. Um, I think that's actually really it. Shoes and maybe like their toothbrushes. Besides that, they're pretty set to go. I've been working on packing for them for the past few days because I just have, and uh, but I need to get myself together. I did order a new toiletry bag, which for those of you who are OGs are gonna be like clutching your pearls because you know I've had that same one <laughs> <laughs> like since the inception of this channel basically um, but I figured it was time I wanted something a little bit bigger I still love the other one I'm gonna keep it around for shorter trips but I um, wanted something a little bit bigger for being able to put all of my products in one spot including my makeup just in one bag rather than having a makeup bag and a toiletry bag if that makes sense so anyway, did I already say we're going to Disneyland? I'm feeling a little scattered today. We're going to Disneyland tomorrow. We are going for five days and four nights and I'm just so excited. The weather at this time of year, it is April and the weather at this time of year, pretty much all over the place is all over the place. So the mornings in California where we'll be will be pretty chilly and then it will be pretty warm during the day There's some chances of rain going on and then in the evenings It'll be a little chillier again So I feel that we need to pack lots of layers and options for each day because I'm not exactly sure how the weather will pan out um, I did pack the kids raincoats and then I also packed them each a little blanket that we'll keep in our stroller So that if it's chilly in the morning or evenings, then we can just put those over them I believe that I have a rain cover for our stroller. Now that I'm saying this, I think I should probably find that and pack that because if it is going to be rainy, would love to have that um, with us. But yeah, come along. Let's get it all together, get it all packed and kind of prep for our travel day tomorrow. We are feeling very blessed because typically when we are traveling to Disney, which for us is normally Disney World, this is our first time going to Disneyland in California instead of World in Florida. Normally we are waking up and flying out very early. And so normally our wake up is 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., like in the early morning hours to get ready, drive to the airport, get to our gate. We need multi, you know, multiple hours of time for that with two little ones. However, tomorrow our flight doesn't leave until almost one in the afternoon, but because of the time difference, we will get to California at two in the afternoon. Very nice. So we can have a pretty low key morning and we'll have several hours at home in the morning before we have to leave, which is nice and not something I'm used to. So I'm just trying to remember that as I'm packing that not every single thing necessarily has to be done before I go to bed tonight because I'm not gonna wake up at 3 a.m. Like I'm gonna actually have a functional brain when I wake up and I can have a cup of coffee before we leave. Anyway, welcome to packing for Disneyland in April, 2024. I am so glad you're here. There's the rogue peanut butter knife over there. Um, I would first like to just share that our bedroom is so clean. I made it all clean and peaceful so I could enjoy packing. I love to pack and typically our room is kind of a disaster and I'm like slowly like trying to clean it up as I'm packing. But look, I made it so nice and like all cleaned up and there's nothing on the floor so I can like have a nice space to pack in. And I even lit a candle. Like look at me go. All right, let's get this Let's get this going. Um, first, let me pull out the kids' stuff. I'll show you what all I have packed for them, and then we'll move on to all of my stuff. 
So here are all of the kids' clothes, so beautifully organized and a little festive with the Disney, you know, the Mickey Mouse in the middle. So I got these bags off of Amazon. I will make sure they're linked below. Anything that I mentioned in this video, I'll make sure to link below in case you want to check it out. And then I have a Cricut, and so I cut this vinyl um, for all the days, and I thought that th this would be such an easy way to organize the kids clothes and their clothes are small enough that I can fit both of their outfits in each pouch which is really nice um, and then it's just like also neat, neat and organized and when we go on other trips Disney or not we can continue to use these bags so I think it'll be really nice so I have their clothes over here for tomorrow this is what they're going to wear to the airport and like travel and I have them both in shorts and a t-shirt with a sweater or a sweatshirt on top in case it's you know, chilly on the plane or chilly when we get there. But I think this will be a good, you know, good for them to start off with that. So we have their outfits for day one and then day two, day three, day four, um, four pairs of pajamas for each night for each of them. Um, and then they each have a swimsuit in case we decide to swim. And then down here, in this one, I just decided to pack some of the extras um, that I wasn't, you know, sure if they would need or not, but I wanted to make sure that I had them on hand. So this is Colin's side, my son's side. So I have a pair of jeans for him, a long, long, like not jorts, actual jeans, a pair of long khakis for him, a sweatshirt, two sweatshirts actually, um, in case it's chilly. So this is kind of like cold weather if it's cold. That didn't make sense. This is like extras if it's cold. Um, and then same for Nora. I have a pair of leggings, a pair of jeans, and then two sweatshirts. And she has like a cute little Anna and Elsa sweatshirt down there. So I think this will be really good for them, um, that we can bring these items with us into the parks if it's chilly in the morning. And yeah, so they're pretty much packed, like I said, and all I need to do, I think, is grab their toothbrushes, and then they will be set to go. I also bought them some fun stuff that I'm going to, like, we're going to have and kind of parse out if we are sitting down to a meal or if we're in a long line. So I'll show you guys that stuff. I went to the dollar store last night to grab it, so I'll show you that here in a little bit. All right, I'm going to put this all back neat and uh, get to working on my own packing. I thought I had another packing cube for the kids and I do. So I have each of them like a windbreaker kind of rain jacket and then each of them a um, blanket for the parks. So that's the other thing I forgot to share. So I've laid out my outfits for the next handful of days. So this is like a really comfy athletic t-shirt and then these are joggers. So I thought that would be a good airport outfit and then I can wear it into the park. And then for each day I'm having like layers. So I'll, I'll, you'll see. Okay, so the very first full day that we're going to be there, which will be Friday, um, we are doing a little mini 30 minute photo shoot. So I am packing, it's not going to be super formal, um, but I just wanted it to be, I wanted like solids. I didn't want any like extra stuff on it. So uh, I'm just wearing like a green tank top with jeans. And then I have this like comfy, chunky sweater that I can pop on top if I get cold in the morning. Cause that's when we're going to do it. And then this is from my shop, literally on design. It is a tone on tone castle embroidery. And um, I have some shorts or um, bike shorts. So I'm going to wear this in the morning. And then if we pop back to the hotel in the middle of the day for like naps and I want to put on something comfier or less warm, I can put on that. Then the next day, um, both of these are from also from my shop. We have the Haunted Mansion breakfast bed and breakfast and mausoleum I think is what it says it's really cute stay a night or an eternity so I got this to wear with um, either black leggings or a black athletic skirt and then this is also from my shop and at last I see the light on top for the morning so 
Um, I can decide which bottom I'm going to wear based on the weather of the day. Next day, this is also from my shop. There's a theme here. This has been a very well-loved shirt, but I just, it's spring. I've got to wear it. So the spring Mickey head, and then I have, this is also from my shop, Disneyland Resort um, sweatshirt, and then I have jeans, and then jean shorts in case I don't want to wear um, long jeans if it gets warm. You guessed it, also from my shop. Um, so this is for our travel day home. So I'm going for super comfy. So I have my lucky comfort colors tee and then these really comfy leggings and this kind of pullover. And then I also am going to throw in, in the event that it's super warm, some just like black bike shorts. And then that is the pajama set that I'll wear throughout our time there. And I think that's like everything that I'm going to need. I also have two athletic dresses that are super cute that I'm going to throw in because they don't take a lot of space up. I'm not sure if I'll wear them or not. I don't know if they will like suit the needs of this trip, but I am going to just throw them in in case, um, you know, I just want some options. But the rest of this stuff, I'm going to pop into packing cubes because it is all set. Here's where I am now. So I put all of my stuff into packing cubes and then I'm bringing, I'm gonna wear a pair of shoes of course and then I'm bringing a pair of sandals and then a pair of sort of like Ked style but these are by the brand Rothy's. I am completely obsessed with them. They're made from recycled water bottles and they're the most comfortable like small little shoe like that and then you can pop the whole thing in the wash and they come out like bright and clean. I just love them. So anyway, I'm bringing those two. Um, I bring my laundry bag. This is also from my shop. It's great for travel always and then this is um my little case that I use for like hair tools so I have my Revlon one step styler don't judge that I didn't, haven't cleaned the hair out of there yet and then um just a curling iron and love that if you remember from the vlogs that I put up last December my husband Riley decided to start pin trading like in the 11th hour it was like a few hours before we left for the airport so I need to remember to bring this so that he can continue his pin trading. I think he was doing it with mostly Colin. I don't really know, but they, the kids and him were excited about it. So I'll make sure to bring that. This is our stroller banner, very cute. Um, and then I'm bringing two pairs of ears for myself. My little gold ears. These are like, I think these are considered rose gold actually. Um, and then just the black and red classics, very cute. And then these are all of the little treats and little special things that we're going to have in our diaper bag or whatever bag we take into the park um, in the event that we need something for the kids to play with or if they're just like being awesome and we want to give them a little something fun. So they both have the same thing, just a couple of differences. So each kid is getting a little notebook, a little sticker book, which is really cute. I thought this princess one was particularly cute and I know my daughter will just love it. These are all from the dollar store. Um, and then some crayons for each of them. And then a little bag of Nerds Gummy Clusters, which they will love. That will be, you know, maybe not at nighttime. That can be like a midday snack. And then for Nora, I got her the little mini and then little snow puff. She will love these. And then all the same stuff for Colin, except for he got Dinosaur, Jurassic World, which isn't Disney, but he doesn't care. He just loves dinosaurs. Um, and then he got Mike and Sully from uh, Monsters, Inc. He loves that movie and the same other things. So I'm going to put these all in some kind of little sneaky pouch of some kind and we will divvy them out as we see fit over the course of the vacation. Maybe on the airplane, maybe waiting in line, maybe at a restaurant. And then just a few other things. I have a small pack of diapers that I'm bringing for our son and then um, a couple of pairs of ears for Nora. So we have these beautiful ones with the little tiara and then she loves this one. It has like the little <clears throat> fairy veil thing. Um, and then a handful of hair bows for her. And then this is so stinking cute. It is a little mini crossbody bag for like little kids or they can wear it as a fanny pack. I thought she would love that. This was a gift, a birthday gift for her, I think, 
from a friend of mine and I think she would she's at the age now where I think she would really really enjoy wearing this on the trip you know I'll have my crossbody she can have hers and I don't know if she buys a little something she could put it in there or get a pin for it or I think she'll have a lot of fun with that and then you've already seen all of this so we're doing really well I need to find our um travel sound machine I did not see it in our Disney bin or our travel bin so I'm not really sure I need to do that find that I need to do our toiletries and um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start putting all this stuff away and then I'm gonna work on our carry-ons okay I just have this little it's by the brand Eagle Creek and it's just like a little packing I don't know it's really nice I use it for every trip for something different so for this trip I'm gonna use it for all this stuff And uh, that way it's all corralled and little eyes hopefully won't see it before it's surprised. You know, we give it to them as a surprise. Okay. There you go. That'll be really fun to uh, surprise them with. You remember how I told you that I was excited that I was getting a fresh <laughs> one of these toiletry bags? Well, I got a notification about an hour ago that it won't be delivered for another few days. So it was delayed. So I'm back to my old trusty Vera Bradley one that I've had for 100 years. It really is great. The one that I got is actually super similar to this. It's just larger because I wanted to be able to fit what I the contents of these in, in this in the new one, plus all of my vitamins and meds, which are always three separate pouches. It, this is not the end of the world by any means, but that was the reasoning why I ordered a new one. Anyway, so I have my jewelry all packed up. This little jewelry case is from Amazon. I think it was $6 or $7. I feel like it was really reasonable. Um, and I just have all of my jewelry in there. And then this is the makeup that I am bringing. I am going very minimal and just bringing my top, top, top favorites. Um, one foundation option, one everything option. Then this is the bag for the kids. So I have some, whoops, some body wash slash shampoo for them, their toothpaste and their little toothbrushes, Nora's little hair ties that I use in her cute little hair, the little comb I use for her hair. Um, and that's every, oh, and then her curl spray is in there somewhere. A little curl spray and then in my main one so down here at the bottom actually fits quite a lot I have deodorant a razor body wash this is um, like blow dry spray this is perfume lotion shampoo and conditioner this is dry shampoo this is hairspray and this is shaving cream so if it's a lot, there's actually a little more room too if I wanted more. This is all skincare. So I have my face wash. I usually use this to remove makeup. Then this is my face wash. This in the morning. This is deep moisturizer for the evening. Tretinoin for the evening. And then Aquaphor for my lips. And then this is um, tooth care, dental stuff with the exception of the Advil. That just I just pop that in there. I like to have that on trips. Um especially Disney when you're walking a lot if you just need a little extra support because your legs are feeling sore or whatever. So Listerine, I have my Sensodyne toothpaste um, and then my toothbrush and then these are little floss picks. And then up here, I have a brush and then some Q-tips and a little hairband to hold my hair back when I wash my face. So that's everything that I have here. Um, and then I just pulled out Nora and Colin. If you watched my previous packing video for when we went away for Easter, I made them each a little bag with their name with headphones and little their little travel tablets. So I just pulled the travel tablets out to charge them. So they'll be ready for tomorrow morning. And I think that's just about everything that I can think of off of the top of my head. Um, so I'm going to pull out the suitcase and start kind of getting that going. And then, as I said earlier, then I'm going to work on my carry-on and get that all set up as well. Okay, I 
got everything put into suitcases. So I'm going to try to see if we can fit everything in just these two hard shell suitcases. They are from eBags, I will link them, or something similar below. These are several years old, so they might be out, you know, like out of, um, what's it called? Unavailable, discontinued is the word I'm looking for. But there are a lot of suitcases very similar and they are just such a perfect size for a family of four with two little ones. I think as the kids get older, they will need more items, but at this age, they work really well. So we have my my suitcase, which has all of my stuff, and about 75% or maybe a little like 70% of the kids stuff in it is totally full. That suitcase is done. And then I have one here at my feet that's Riley's and this one is probably only not even halfway full. So if he can fit the things that he needs in the other half, then we will just take the two suitcases. If he needs more space, of course, we'll just take a bigger suitcase. Um, that's totally fine too. So I'm gonna pull out my um, carry-on that I'm planning on taking tomorrow and kind of get that going. So what I think I'm gonna do is sort of have a carry-on for me and then a carry-on for the kids slash a diaper bag um, for my son. And then, um, cause that's what we did on our Easter trip and it was nice to have more space for my things. Usually I try to combine them into one, but I realize that that's not totally necessary when we are having a stroller through the whole airport. It's really not a big deal. We can just put my bag and the kid's bag in the stroller. When they were little and I was like baby wearing them and holding them and all that, it was just easier to have just one singular carry-on. But now it's really not a big deal to have a second. And I really enjoyed having my stuff separate and being able to locate the things that I wanted for me or for them more easily because they weren't the bag wasn't so packed. Anyway, that's not interesting or important, but I'm just telling you. So I'm gonna go get that and uh, kind of get it going here. <sighs> what time is it? It's 8.30, the kids are both asleep. They've been asleep for 30 to 45 minutes, I would say, which is great. So we'll get a solid night's sleep before our trip tomorrow. And um, I'm getting so excited. I am getting so excited. I know that I showed you how clean this room was, but that was before I started packing. All that will get cleaned up, but I've been using that dresser as like my space to kind of sort everything out. So the carry-on that I'm gonna bring for this trip is the Foldy, which is my new favorite travel bag. It still has the tag on it, I need to take it off. I've used it for a long weekend trip and I had such a good time using it so it expands well actually the whole thing folds into this little rectangle here so the idea i think originally was that if you're going on a trip where you think you might buy things or you might need more space in your luggage home you can just pop this little rectangular shaped little puff into your suitcase and then it unfurls into this big old thing um the color that it's showing on the screen right now it's really brown it's just this is like a moss green um they have gorgeous colors they have like bright blue, hot pink, beige, a gorgeous navy color, just like all kinds of options. I bought this one and then their buy one get one free so I got another one and then I also bought a third one for a gift and I was telling my friend about them and she was, she was like falling in love with it so she went and bought seven for gifts. One for herself and six for other people which was cracking me up. So it has, so I just zipped the bottom so it's a little bit smaller because I don't need that. It has a sidebar. Um, it's definitely bigger than a purse, but it's perfect for a carry-on. So in here, let's see. Did I just, oh, I closed it. Oh, there's even two zippers. It's so nice. It just like is such a nice, it's so nice. So nice. Okay, anyway. So I'm gonna use this for my carry-on and I I'm gonna try to just put just a handful of things in it so that when I'm coming home and we have Disney souvenirs, I can just undo this bottom part and we will have an extra basically duffel bag to bring things back because we have been known on virtually every Disney trip on the last day to go and buy some of the reusable like shopping bags from Disney in order to transport things home. So when I purchased this, my very first thought when purchasing it was Disney World or Disneyland. I keep saying Disney World. All right, so I'll set the camera up so I can get you guys a better view. Um, and I'm gonna start kind of packing this with a handful of things for me, but not too much, because I wanna save room for all the treasures that I find in Disneyland. So fun. Okay, so this is my little leather essentials pouch. Super, super handy. So I have this really cute Grim Floridian little keychain on it. 
on a key that I want to keep with me. Um, this is a little mini medicine cabinet. It is so helpful and great to have when you're traveling. So that goes in here. My parents went to Greece and my mom got me this little mirror, which is nice to have with me. So I'm putting that in my little essentials pouch. I am putting my little OxyClean pen. This stuff is amazing, I love it. So I'm putting that in there. Some mints, sounds like I have one left. I probably need to buy more at the airport. Obviously some hand sanitizer. I also have one of these tied to go wipes. Um, I do like these for like larger stains because that one that I just showed you, that pen is good for like if you have a small spot. But if the kids just go nuts, this is really, these are helpful. Stain removers all the way. Um, okay, this is my favorite, favorite lip gloss. It totally lives up to its hype, the Laneige Berry. So I'm putting that in there. I am going to put my AirPods in here as well. Three different hair ties. I cannot stand not having hair ties, so stick all of those in there. And then I normally bring um, some Sharpies and a pen. I don't know where the pen is. I probably used it um, in here as well, but I'm not gonna, I don't want these to, well, I guess they're not going to explode on the plane. I have had a pen explode on the plane on me like three different times, so I'm kind of wary. So I don't think I'm going to bring any pens or Sharpies. That doesn't feel like something I'm gonna, going to need. Um, and so I think that's everything in my little essentials pouch here. So I'm going to zip that up. And stick that in here. Then I'm also going to go ahead and bring, this is um, relatively new to me, it is a leather crossbody from the brand Quince and I stink and love it. They actually just released several new colors, they have beautiful colors, and I got the matching wallet to go with it. Um, so I'm actually going to pack this inside the larger bag because I like to just take this out and have this with me. Um, if I, you know, I'm walking around the park or if I want to be able to have my camera or phone with me like this. Um, and then in the airport, when you're going through security and getting checked in, I like to have this so I can keep my ticket and stuff close by. So this is kind of like a large scale wallet that I can wear, if you know what I mean. Um, so stick that in there. This is my favorite, favorite travel charger situation. So it opens up and you can um, pop it open like this. And then you can put your Apple Watch here to charge and then your phone here. They make one that folds into three and the third section is for charging your AirPods. But when I'm traveling, I don't use my AirPods that much. I can just give them a quick charge at some point on the trip. They, the charge lasts so long on them anyway. So I just one charge before I leave, you know, tomorrow and then one charge before I leave back to come home will be enough. But I like to have chargers with me for obvious reasons. Um, okay, this old chestnut, if you've been around, you know, I don't know why I picked this pattern. I don't really like it, but it is a really nice sunglasses case. So that's going in there. These tissues are meant to go in here. Um, and then I'm also going to put a claw clip in there. So let's organize this a little bit better. Actually, I can put the sunglasses in the essentials bag just so that there's less things floating around. Can you tell I'm a big fan of like pouches? Love them, always have. Okay, so as you can see, well, as you can't see, gosh, it's just hard with this light. Here, let me get my phone and shine a light on there in there for you. Okay. As you can see, there are just a small number of things there at the bottom, and this is not even with the bag fully um, unzipped. So once I have it fully unzipped on the way home, there will be plenty of space for everything that I would want or need. So this will be perfect. Oh, I see two more things over across my bed. Let me grab them. The last two things I'm gonna throw in my bag are, first of all, this. This is awesome. This thing is a, um, what would you call it? Like a an airplane seat phone holder. So you actually 
push this and if this is the tray of the airplane you clamp it on there and then you have it like this and then let me take my pop socket off and you can put your phone like that and watch movies um, or if you just want you can do it the other way too hard to do one-handed but you can do it um, And then you can also do it up and down if that would be make more sense for you. But I just like having my phone in easy view during the whole entire flight. And I track the flight on there and everything. So anyway, love this thing. It's so nice. It's It was like definitely less than $10 off Amazon. All this stuff is linked in my travel favorites. So I will put that below. So this I'll just pop in there. And then this was like my new favorite thing ever um, for our Disney World trip in December. So let me set, I'm gonna change the way my camera is to show you this because this is like worth the time to set up the camera differently, it's so good. So when I'm in the parks, I am sharing on my Instagram stories for my Instagram subscribers a lot and I'm also taking video footage and B-roll for my videos and just like a lot. I have my phone on me a lot, not to mention Genie Plus stuff and checking restaurants and just like wait times and all of that. So I like my phone at the ready the entire time I am on a Disney World vacation. And this little thing, it's by a brand called Casemate and they have all different straps. I really liked this one. It has like an ivory pleather, leather look, faux leather with gold. Um, so what you do is you take your cell phone and you pop the case off your cell phone and then you take this little card and it's really really thin and flexible but it's really sturdy i used it for an entire week in disney world at christmas time and you kind of put it where you want to put it you slide this part through the case so it's like in the case like that and then you snap your phone back in and now you have this card in there securely. So you take your chain and you hook it in and then you wear it like a crossbody and it's life changing. It is life changing. You can just grab your phone, take a picture, grab your phone, take a video, you can take a selfie, you can check wait times and then you just like drop it down and it's like at your hip. I and because I use Apple Pay so often, I like don't even need a wallet. I just need my phone with me. I just love it. And I made this little, <laughs> I have had this pop socket, but I made this little Mickey Mouse on uh, my Cricut. So I have like my little, oh, so good. It's so good. It's so helpful for these Disney trips where you need your phone on you and with you. And I don't feel like, like in the moment, if I want to take a picture, I... I need to take it right then because if my kids are being super cute or they're smiling or laughing at each other, if I have to dig through a bag, the moment's over. Like it's gotta be a split second right then. So absolutely love this. We'll link it below. Like I keep saying that all this stuff, virtually all this stuff is from Amazon and it will all be linked below. So you can go and check it out. Foldy, I am not sponsored by in any way, but I do have a referral. Um, I think if you use the code Blair or Blair 10 or something, you get like 10% off your order and they're doing a two for one deal right now. So if, and like I said, every color, they have like every color. So if you would like to get a Foldy for you or someone you love or you and someone you love, you can use my code at checkout and it will give you extra dollars off. But it's not like, this is not like sponsored. I just think it's incredible so this is going in the bag I won't need this until we actually get there but as soon as we get there this is going on my person because it's just so so good and uh, yeah I think that's everything that's gonna go oh my Kindle how could I forget my Kindle will absolutely be going in my carry-on that's my number one favorite on the plane activity is to read um, so I'll pop my Kindle in there and then this is good to go. Plenty of room still in here for whatever else I would need. And I can either throw it over my shoulder like this or do a crossbody moment or a one shoulder moment like this or like this, like just easy peasy. And when we're walking around, I can just put it in the stroller, which is nice. Okay, 
Now the kids, let's see, the kids, um, this diaper bag has like seriously been worth its weight in gold. We have loved it and used it so much. It, it's by a company called Babaru and it is just like huge, but it, it condenses down. We have loved it. So I'm going to get this packed out with the kids stuff. So let me gather that all up and then I'll show you what I'm putting in um, the kids carry on for this trip. And then I think we're pretty much, pretty much set to go. Riley still has to pack, but he's a quick packer. It always takes me all day. I also do everything that the whole family needs and everything that the kids need because I actually really enjoy packing. Um, but he's still quicker than me. He's, he's fast. But what we like to do is put all the diapers, wipes, and a little bit of diaper rash cream. We always try to find the most flattened one um, in here so that when we're in an airport or in the parks, we can just, one of us can just grab this and go into the bathroom without having to mess with the entire um, larger diaper bag. So, I don't think there's anything in this front pocket. Oh, a spare passy. Always a good idea. So, this is gonna go in here. Um, we also have our stroller banner. This is helpful because there are literally stroller parking lots in Disney and so it's nice to have something to identify your stroller. People do all kinds of cute things, but I really like those. I've gotten, I have two of them. One is Christmas themed from our last trip and then this, this one actually is from before we had Colin. This is when we went with just Nora which is why it's princess themed, but Colin doesn't mind. So I'm gonna take some passies and put them in here. We are working on the passy thing. It's not, it's not going amazing, but we're doing it. Um, okay, so I made these little pouches on for our last trip um, on to the East Coast for Easter, and I did share them on here already, but I basically just, I made them on my Cricut. I'm really, I love my Cricut. Um, so I just have some snacks in here. I have like a little yogurt pouch. These are actually shelf stable. My kids love them. So they're really good to travel with and they're less than three ounces. So you can take them through security. Um, I have some graham crackers. I have like a cliff bar, um, some fruit snacks. And so each one of them gets their own little snack pouch. There's no issues, there's no fighting. They can decide when they eat these snacks. Um, and with the timing of the flight tomorrow, we will have eaten lunch before we get on. But, you know, kids eat a lot of snacks a lot of the time. Um, okay, so then we have this little fun moment here. These are all their little special things. I'm actually going to pop them in my bag because this one is already starting to get full. You can see why it this was extremely overstuffed because many, many times I take this bag only and all the things that I just put in the green foldy, I put in here as well. And it is like distended. It does hold it all, <laughs> but it's a lot. Um, so it's easier when it's not quite so aggressively huge. Um, and then in this second pocket, I do have both of their little tablet bags with their headphones. Their tablets are charging in the uh, guest room. We have four guests. We have like this big charging cube thing. Um, so I'm just using it right now. So I will put the tablets in there, but this pocket will be perfect for the two tablets. And then I believe I already put their birth certificates in here. So birth certificates are really important when you're traveling with kids, especially when they are a lap child, because sometimes Actually, every single time when my kids were babies, they would ask me for their birth certificates to make sure that they were under two years old since they were, is it two? Yeah, under two, so they could sit on my lap. Um, but I always bring them now. We have two, we have like, these are like the copies. They're they're like, prof like real copies. Um, what am I trying to say? I didn't like put them on a photocopier. When we went and got their birth certificates, I ordered two per child specifically so I could have one each to travel with and then the other two are like locked away you know what I'm saying so anyway very important to have that with you um, and then in this front pouch area we need to get our straws I don't know I need to look that up what's the Disneyland straw vibe because the Walt Disney World straw vibe is the worst vibe ever I cannot stand it if you want to hear me rant ask me what I think about Disney World paper disgusting straws 
but <laughs> down here, these are um, toilet seat covers for toddlers. So nice. You open them up here. I'll open one up and show you. You open them up and you put it over the toilet seat because toddlers, we don't have to use these as much anymore, but when we were first potty training and learning, there's a lot of like touching the toilet seat and it was just so foul because you're in public places. Um, so these things are great because they drape over the seat and they create a true cover. So that as your toddler is climbing up and putting his or her little hands onto, you know, to hold themselves up, they're touching this and not the public seat. And they come in a big pack. Here's what they look like. We got the dino print because I thought it was cute. So you set it over and then it just creates like a drape. Um, so I'll pop that down there. And um, I have been sharing about those for a while and I've had some people say that they started buying them for their own trips, like even like adult business trips, just because they're just, it's just feels so much better to be in public and not, you know, which they provide those ones but they, those ones that they provide don't go over the sides like that does, which is really nice. Then these are um, disposable bibs. We really only use these when we are in Disney. I have some back stock of these, so I'll open up one and show it to you. So these were super great. So you, they come like this and then you fold this part out and under so it creates a catching spot for your baby stuff. And then there's like a little sticker so your baby puts it on and you stick it closed and um, it is so nice. Now when our kids were younger and like learning to eat, we put these on them for every meal. It was so nice to have and not have to worry about washing it off. But now it's really nice because if they're eating popsicles or a Mickey like ice cream bar, the chocolate one, um, or anything that's messy, we just pop one of these on them so that they don't you know, cause we're taking tons of pictures in Disney and I don't want like red dripping, chocolate dripping down there. If, if it happens, it's not the end of the world. But the fact that we have these makes it really nice. So we have those. And then typically in this third section, we keep um, some of those disposable placemats to put down. We don't really carry those anymore cause those were for babies eating with finger foods. Super great if you have a baby with finger foods. Um, now we like to keep some straws because the, <laughs> The Disney straw situation is just devastating. Um, I'm just kidding around, but it is actually pretty bad. When you're spending so much money to go on a vacation, the fact that the straw offering is like sucking on wet drywall is so astounding and problematic to me because there is the option for something like what Joffrey's provides, which is not that way. And it's a bamboo straw, but it feels like plastic. It doesn't feel like truly like wet clumpy drywall Ugh, so bad okay i'm gonna get off that you guys know i get on that hill i can't get off it it bothers me so much okay we've got the foldy here we've got the diaper bag here so these two carry-ons are good to go i'm trying to think if there's anything else i want to tidy up this room now that i've like gone through and packed but i'm trying to think if there's anything else that i want to share or show you i think i think we're in really really good shape before bed tonight, I want to take a shower and just put on some comfies, read a few chapters of my book to just kind of unwind after it's been a pretty long day. I woke up first thing and like dropped Nora off at school and then I went to the gym for an hour long workout and then I've been working all day and now I've been packing all evening and it's just been kind of a long day, a good one but long. I'm ready for like a few chapters of my book, drink some nice ice cold water in my cozy bed. I changed the sheets today so it feels really fresh and um, just get a really good night's sleep and then we'll have some time in the morning to have like a normal morning routine, which I'm actually really looking forward to because that's a rarity on travel days and then we'll head out after that. I am not winning any awards for the lighting in this video, but I'm doing the best I can with the daylight being gone. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. I will note that there are two things that I ended up adding um, to my bag. The first is a bag of my vitamins and medications, and that's in my foldy carry-on bag. And then I also, um, what was the second thing? Oh, all of my camera stuff. My camera grip, my camera batteries, like extra batteries, extra memory cards, extra all my camera-related vlogging stuff. I just want to note that in case anyone's watching this video as they are packing. Remember, if you do any kind of video or photography that you need that equipment, 
um, and then also obviously vitamins and meds and it's always best to keep that in your uh, carry-on so I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for being here. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram. You can subscribe to me on Instagram if you want extra exclusive day in the life content. So fun. And um, I will see you back here shortly with Disneyland vlog day one. Very, very excited. See you then. Thanks for being here.